what about the animators? Um, because you need to be able to not only animate the player, but you need the other players um, in the scene to be able to see the animations as well. And now what you can normally do is, you know, if you're playing, if, we, if I was just building a game without Ready Player Me, you know, I wouldn't be loading the, the mesh, the avatar from the cloud anywhere. It would just already be in the program. So I would already have my animator, my mesh, and everything right here on my player, or it would be a child of the player already. But we can't add that stuff at runtime. So if you notice, we don't have an animator. We don't have anything going on here. When we hit play, and the avatar gets loaded. Well, I should probably come over here. Oh, the other guy's still, the other guy's still in the room. Goodbye. Um, but come over here. Now we have an avatar. And on this avatar, we have an animator. It would be really swell if we could um, add uh, an animator view here, but we can't. We can't even disable apply root motion, but I think we could do that by code possibly. Um, but we can't add an animator view. And if you're not familiar, the animator view component allows it to automatically sync um, animations across the network. Since we can't do that, we get to go old school. So before pun two, just in pun one, there wasn't really, there was no animator view component. And so you had to sync the animation um, parameters, the animator parameters across the network. So like if we came over here and we go into our player, Let's add uh, some new logic here. And this is going to be animator. All right. Um, we need to do a is mine. So if it is mine, actually, we don't. No, we do need an is mine. So is mine event and an is not mine event. All right, um, but I also want to make sure I have the avatar first. So get child, move that to the top from the owner. Child's gonna be named avatar, avatar. Same thing, avatar, avatar. And then we're gonna do a null check on the game object. So if this is null, then we need to um, put, I'm just gonna put is null, which means we need to wait. So add transition is null. And I'm just gonna wait a frame and check again. It's This is gonna be doing it a lot, probably more than we need to, but I'm just lazy. So next frame event, let's call this wait a frame. And so I'm just gonna put in for playmaker, uh, next frame event. Uh, let's just do a finish state. Okay, so um, it's gonna keep popping out of the start state until it finds that um, child called the avatar and stores it. And then we're gonna see, is this player my player? Um, if it is my player, so to call the state is mine. Um, add transition is mine. Um, add transition is not mine. So if it is mine, what are we gonna do? Um, if it's mine, we are going to get our move vector. And we're using the move from the input. And we just wanna store magnitude. And we're going to set animator float. But not on our owner, we're gonna do it on our avatar because that's where animator is. And if you remember from the beginning of the video, the parameter is called magnitude. And we're gonna set that parameter to magnitude. And we're gonna do that every frame. But we need to do something else here. We need to be able to sync this variable. So I need to, on this player, I'm not sure how you do it without Playmaker, something similar, I guess. Um, but I'm going to go to Tools. Uh, no, I'm gonna go to Add-ons. I'm gonna go to Photon Networking. I'm gonna go to Components. And I want to add a Photon Ready FSM to Selected Game Object. Um, and where's it at? Seriously, where, where did it go? 
Oh, it's right here. Here we go. We're going to call this our animator variable sync. Okay, we also need to put this in our photon view. So you might need to write a script to sync your variables. It's what we're doing here. So, um, oh, also one more thing we need is a Playmaker photon view, which we already have. It. So we need to go, not that, we need to, instead of auto find all, let's set this for manual. So we already have our photon transform view. We have our Playmaker photon view, but we also need to put the animator variable sync FSM in here to be observed. So I'm going to go here and there's not going to be any real logic. We're just going to have a variable that gets synced and it's going to be magnitude. All right. So it's going to be network synced. Bada bing, bada boom. If we go back to our animator FSM. We're going to also set the FSM float um, on this game object, our variable sync. The variable name is magnitude. We're going to set it as magnitude every single frame. So if this is not mine, we're going to go get that value. So we are going to get, get FSM float from the owner. We're going to get it from the variable sync. We're going to get the variable magnitude. We're going to store it as magnitude. We're going to get it every single frame. And then we are going to set animator float, not of the owner, but of the avatar variable. And we're going to set the parameter magnitude to the value that we just received called magnitude. And we're going to do that every frame. I mean, you can choose if you want it on update or on animator move. I'm just going to leave it on update for now. It should work. Let's save and let's uh, build and run and see if this works. All right, let's see if this works. Um, I already have it open in um, the build. Let's pull up the guy on um, the editor. Um, they're staying on top of each other. Look at that. We can see the animations are now syncing across the network. So I think that's as far as we need to go with this. So we showed you how to load the avatar and so that each player can have its own unique avatar using the URL that you had to capture some way using UI. Um, and then we've synced the animations so that the other players can see what type of animations your player is doing. So I hope this was useful for Playmaker users and non-Playmaker users alike. Please feel free to comment down below. If you have more questions about this, please feel free to reach out to me on my Discord and I'll put the information for that down in the comments. Um, yeah, so until next time, thanks for watching. We'll find something else new to take a look at.